What's up? It's Alexis Sayana here at GME, and I'm with Street Politician Coalition DJ. Um, so I released Balenciaga last year in March. Um, it has it's a, my, my first single. It has Kwani Cash on it. Um, I came about that record because I was not really signed to GME at the time. I got signed to GME like literally a week later after I released my first single. But um, my sister, who was also my manager, she was working with GME since 2013. I started recording with them like late summer, probably August of 2013 as well, once I um, got to college. And I just started recording music here. They let me use their studio um, here. And Jimmy kind of took an interest to me and said, okay, well, we're gonna, we're gonna actually help you out and we're gonna get you a singer to get a single first. So I didn't have, Balenciaga wasn't gonna be the first single, by the way. It was gonna be this other song. We don't have to talk too much on that because I really, really, really hated that song. Like, I could not get the delivery, nothing like that. Like, I was, I was so, like, pissed off with the song. So, I ended up sneaking in the beat for Miss Y'all because my, um, my producer, Kid Class, he had played it for me a while, um, like, probably a month before I started recording for it. And they was like, okay, we're, we're gonna do that, so we're gonna do the beat, but we're not gonna do it right now because you're gonna have too many urban type songs. So I snuck it in, and when Kwani was supposed to do the other song for me and feature on the other song, I snuck in the Balenciaga beat, and he was like, let's do this, let's do this. So he ended up writing the whole thing in like 15 minutes, and I recorded it right after that. And I had my, left my sister, my manager, and um, my mother, and my label owner Wes listened to it and they liked it and I was like let's switch it so we switched you know switching the singles and um, I performed like the I believe my song but performed my song so um that was like early March probably like March 8th March 9th or something like that but yeah so I've been pushing it for over a year now you know it's doing pretty well it's on radio and everything I'm really proud of how everything is going because not many independent artists can say that they got you know to this certain point in a year's time so yeah I'm pretty hands-on with the business side and the image that I want to portray um, if I wasn't then I, this whole project would just not be me like I wouldn't even have my single because they the first single that they wanted to originally do and push like the song was just not me like I, I, I was really like about to break down and cry because I was like this is not me this is not my song I can't do this I can't do this but it ended up just being okay well we'll take her side we should you know I've been working with um, my team and you know with my sister so they kind of you know listen to me now before they were still gonna be like, okay we're gonna have this single we have this single as well we're gonna push both of them but they ended up just, you know, just letting it go and saying okay well we trust her judgment and if it's just not her then we'll go with what she says I go with um, the whole all black thing that's my whole thing We're all black as far as image wise, the whole curly hair, like that, that was all of my image, like because I have curly hair, so I was just like, okay, why well, I want you to be curly hair and we're all black and be this tall model esque type figure. Like literally everything is has been me saying that this is what I'm gonna do. Of course they take it to the next level, you know, have my style team and you know my manager and all that. But as far as like the you know, the seeds and stuff, that's that's me saying that this is what I want it to be. So street politician. I do have influences in this music industry. I do look up to certain artists. I look up to Rihanna, Rihanna's, Rihanna and, and Aaliyah. I look up to her because of her edginess. She's very bold. Um, she can be able to, you know, go into different genres with her music, but still stay true to herself and her art and doesn't come off as fake when she's, you know, when she's doing um, it. She can do pop, um, R&B. So that's what I really like. I want to be able to be able to do that when I get in, when I really get in the industry, to be able to not just stick to one genre and stay there the entire time. Like I want to be, I want to transcend into other genres and still be able to stay true to myself, be, Universal, as you call it. <laughs> and I love her style. Yes. She's like an icon in style for fashion. I like Esco because he just be on that fire lately. Like, he just been really killing all future's tracks. I want to work with Pharrell. I want to work with Pharrell. 
um, it was this song that he did with Britney Spears called Slay For You. Like, I've literally, I don't know why that would be the song, but literally since that song, like, I've just been like, okay, I want to work for her. Like, he, that song was like, the from, I actually wanted my producer, my previous kid class to like, like kind of remake the song a little bit, kind of get that vibe off, but I really want for real. I like to work with Chris Brown. Chris Brown, I wanted to work with Kanye, and I do want to work with Drake. Those are like, those are like my goals, my long-term goals, is to work with those three artists. Yeah, I'm not gonna, I wasn't gonna go to school for singing or anything like that because what I do, like you can't, you have to actually be in it to understand it. You can't just, okay, I'm gonna learn how to do this at school, like no. You gotta be in it, gotta put in the work, gotta meet all the people, make the connections. Like, I got this far in two years time. The school can help me do that. Stay in school, but school can help me do that though. Shout out to Wes. Shout out to Kwani, Free Kwani Cash. Shout out to my sister, Sharissa the Costa. And everybody who's been supporting me, all the DJs who are on it. Um, coalition DJs, street politician. <laughs> But shout out to everybody who's been working, who's been helping me out. Like, I really appreciate it because I could not have gotten anywhere this, well, this far without any of them. So, can't do this for myself. People always want to say, oh, I can do this for myself. No, 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 you can't. My Instagram is Alexis Ayana. It's spelled A-L-E-X-I-S-A-Y-A-A-N-A. And it's my Twitter as well. Follow my Snapchat. I'm pretty interesting, that's what I've told. What's up, it's Alexis Sayana here at GME and I'm a street politician from Coalition DJs.